Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Mary. I post fashion, beauty, and health and wellness videos, but my camera's about to die, but I just wanted to intro this video. It is currently Tuesday afternoon. I just finished up the work day and I'm sitting in this cozy, cozy blanket and literally in the coziest clothes ever. And I'm watching some vlogs, catching up, and that's about it. Um, I am gonna go meet my friend in a little bit. And I'm actually gonna go with her to get some tattoos. <laughs> um, which I think will actually be really fun, but she's like the best. She's my friend Jess. I was literally talking about her in the other vlog. She's my best friend from high school's best friend from college. But I feel like those are like the best post grad friendships are like the ones that like you can connect with someone through something else. You know what I mean? I don't know if that made any sense. But regardless, um my camera's gonna die, so I'm gonna put it on the charger, but I will see you guys once I get home from our nice little walk to River West. Um and yeah. Good morning you guys. I just need an espresso and uh, I've had a really nice morning it's so chilly out so I was actually I, I don't remember if I said this in the vlog or where I said this maybe I was just talking to my sister about it but literally once the weather gets down to below 50 I live in cashmere sweatpants like that's literally all I wear <laughs> And I'm like, oh, I just want to be a fashion girly. But then I put on jeans for two seconds and I'm like, this is uncomfortable. So, what else? Um, that's why I think one of my words has to be like cozy. Um, but yeah, I did my little morning routine. Sheets are in the dryer. I just did a load of Blake's laundry. So I just folded that. Scallops are out for dinner. They're doing their thing because they were frozen. Um, and yeah, I have a, a pretty chill work day. Like I have a busy-ish day. Like I'll be steady, you know, but I'll still be able to like relax and kind of take it easy. That's what I love about work from home is like, you're not bound to a desk. Like I can do my sheets. I can go for a walk if I need to take a break. Like it's just the best. So, um, I'm really grateful that I work from home, but yeah, I'm going to do a Tasha. I'm feeling like maybe I'll do like a 15 minute Tasha today and then go to ritual because we leave for, um, Iowa city tomorrow. And I feel like anytime I'm going to be in the car, I like to stretch out before. So that's the plan. I also need to pack today. Um, I'm trying to figure out like what vibe I want to go for. I just don't want to overpack cause we're only going to be there for a weekend. Mm. I'll definitely take my Bay's Weekender. I love that bag. Um, and yeah, I'm going to figure out which workout I'm going to do. And I will catch you guys after. All right, so you're going to meet me. Hi, guys. I'm popping on to do a quick little Revolve haul. Um, my Revolve favorites are always in my bio. But I wanted to show you guys just a few things that I picked out. Um, and that I'm loving right now. So there's a box. I just did a little thing for TikTok, but the first thing is this cute little sweetheart top. I'm obsessed with this. It's from Super Down, so it's super affordable. I just feel like it's so flattering, so feminine, and absolutely adorable. I'm wearing it right now with these jeans because I was gonna style it with these, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, these jeans are a goldie, but these are the next thing I got, and they're so cute. All of this stuff's in my favorites, by the way. Um, but it's this, these Ray little sandals. I want to show you guys them off too, because they're so freaking cute. Like I'm obsessed. They're a chocolate brown moment and they have this cute little like kind of thong moment, like almost a flip flop, but I love them because they're not too healed. Um, so I'll actually wear them. Um, whereas if something has too much of a heel, I just won't wear it in all honesty. Um, so I never really like gravitate towards pieces like that. So when I saw these, I was like, oh my God, I need them. And I'm obsessed. Um, so yeah, and they're chocolate brown. So who doesn't love chocolate brown? And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys is this cute Academy sweater. And it's literally just like 
a cozy, thick sweater. I'm actually gonna put this on. I'm eating something and then going to yoga. So I'm gonna put this on after and I'll show you guys. Um, but I'm so hungry right now, so I need some food. Um, so I will update you guys after I eat and probably before yoga, maybe. I don't know. Um, but I want to talk to you guys because I just watched Hailey Bieber on Call Her Daddy and we have to talk about it. Good morning you guys i realized i literally it's not even that i lost track of time it's just that i honestly had a busy day yesterday um also okay side note this is not how i would style this sweater it's just warm and cozy so i'm wearing it right now but um i literally got so busy yesterday so i decided not to continue vlogging just because i was like you know what i need to get stuff done so i ended up Finishing up the work day, going to yoga, packing, and then honestly I made dinner and we went to bed. Um, so yeah, that's what I ended up doing, but I wanted to talk to you guys about the Call Her Daddy episode of Haley Weaver because I feel like a lot of you probably listen to it, if not, I feel like you should. I thought it was really good. But, so here's my opinion on Call Her Daddy. I don't, I've talked about this before, I know I have. Basically, I think that sex is something that like, is important to talk about within a couple. I also don't really subscribe to the whole hookup culture thing. Like if you do, I don't judge you, like I don't care, but it's just not for me because I see like that as something very sacred. Um, and I guess I just think it's weird when like, I don't know. I just feel like with podcasts like that and like also like the tanks podcast, which I stopped listening to, um, I feel like there's no boundaries. Like, like when do we stop? You know what I mean? Like we're talking about like very explicit things on the internet and like, I don't know I just like I don't think it's really healthy to look to people that you don't know to like get tips on your sex life why like why not just talk to your partner you know what I mean but maybe that's coming from like a place of naivete like maybe I just don't understand but I don't know so that's kind of my opinion on call her daddy and I still have that opinion I actually tried to listen to another episode after I listened to the Haley one yesterday and I was like yeah this isn't for me like the way she was talking about sex was just so gross and I was like why are you doing that like what's what's the point you know like are you trying to come off as a cool girl or like what I don't know but I do have respect for Alex Cooper I mean clearly she's built something despite like hiccups in the road or whatever I don't really know a lot about that but she had Haley on and Haley is America's princess I love her Someone's gonna like come at me for saying that. Being like, you said Haley Bieber was the princess of America. I'm like, okay, whatever. Anyways, I love Haley. I just bit my tongue. I feel like I'm kind of out of it this morning. I'm not gonna lie. I love Haley, so I wanted to listen to her on Call Her Daddy. And honestly, I just feel like Haley is such, she's just like the girl next door. And I feel like that's what everyone likes about her is like, even Alex Cooper was saying like, she is so normal. Like, when she met Haley and Justin, she was like, oh my God, they're like literally normal people, which like, I mean, that's what everyone says about them. But like, I love that. And I thought Haley did a really good job of like, even when Alex Cooper was like asking her sex stuff, like Haley answered, but like she wasn't being disrespectful to her partner. And I feel like Haley gets it. You know what I mean? Like Haley gets that like, it's a communication between partners. Like it's, like more of a sacred thing than I think a lot of people make it and I feel like Haley kind of gets that and so that's why she might have been a little hesitant to answer some of the questions but 
I just thought in general, I didn't realize that people were like still so obsessed with the whole Justin and Selena thing. I was like, when I heard that, I was like, I thought we'd gotten past that, but that actually sucks for Haley because I mean, that's aggressive. And I just like can't imagine being in that position, like literally being, having people like come up to me even or like dm me or anything like about my boyfriend's ex like that is so weird from literally like 10 years ago like yeah i can't fathom it but honestly i feel like i feel like i had more to say yesterday but now it's kind of slipping my mind clearly i need to finish this coffee and like get moving for the day so that i can get some energy but I can't remember what else I wanted to say about it, but I feel like everyone should listen to it. Also, Haley is so effortlessly chic, and I just love her. She's really great. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. Um, I didn't tell you the plan. Guys, I'm not kidding you. What's wrong with me this morning? Oh my god. Um, the plan is that I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to do a workout, and then I'm going to go get second coffee at La Cologne. I'm gonna have some meetings, I'm gonna get some work done, and we're gonna leave tonight for Iowa City. So I'm gonna vlog until we leave tonight, and then I'll start in Iowa City. Okay, I'm gonna go. Love you guys, bye. Hi guys, I fully flaked on you and I'm sorry. Um, I was planning to like vlog my packing and like I cleaned our place yesterday, so I was gonna vlog that. Long story short, I didn't vlog any of that. We are in Iowa City. Um, I just got up, did my whole morning thing and I'm gonna go get a coffee down at the bread garden and then I'm gonna go see my sisters and my fam um I'm staying with my dad my sisters are staying with my mom so um that's why I obviously haven't seen them yet but we got in last night at like 11 so I'm a little tired this morning but that's okay um but again I like I wanted to get this vlog up to on Saturday um so tomorrow so maybe i'll split the iowa city vlogs in too but i don't know i just don't know if i'll vlog that much just because i'm with my whole fan um but yeah we're at least gonna vlog today and just see what happens and i'm not gonna be too hard on myself about it um i feel like with vlogging it's a delicate balance between like holding yourself accountable and being hard on yourself honestly it's kind of true with life but Okay, I'm ready for a coffee. It feels so good to be home though. And it's such a crisp fall morning. I can't wait to go out on a walk and just relax. I got a cold brew, but I had them put it in a hot cup. This is a hot tip because if you do that, um, it keeps the coffee cold longer. Oh, guys, it just feels like a holiday. It's like, I know it's not yet, but just being home, it feels so cozy. Good morning, you guys. See, this is why I didn't really like want to start a new vlog because I knew I wouldn't vlog much here, but update it's the next day i slept in i'm like really tired actually i didn't sleep in but i'm really tired um just because we actually went out for a little bit last night my family it's kind of fun though in all honesty um and so yeah last yesterday i had the work day but i was i went to costco with my dad in the afternoon and, um went to revival hung out, and then we made dinner at my mom's. And my dad made like the best rice ever, it was so good. Um, it had like shiitakes on it and stuff. And then um, we ended up going out, but I'm going to my mom's right now to meet up with the fam. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, I wanted to update you because I just got home from the game. And I want to talk about something that, like, I don't know if this is controversial because, like, I mean, to get to go to that game, like, comes from a place of privilege and, like, obviously, like, the tickets aren't cheap and stuff like that. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys because I've never been, like, a huge football person and honestly, like, events like football and bars and, like, all of that stuff really overwhelm me. And so we went to the game. I stayed till halftime and like I said like going into it I was like I don't know how long I'll stay but like Blake loves football like he played football growing up and like I knew he would want to stay so I was like obviously you stay anyways I was the only one who ended up leaving but 
I think that the reason I want to talk about this is because like I think we force ourselves to do things and we feel guilty about things that we don't need to feel guilty about and like even me like I'm not gonna lie I just like want to be super transparent with you guys because like in all honesty like I want the person that you see in public to be the same person that you see on this camera and this is so stupid. I brought my book to the game. Like, I was reading, and my sister Anna looked at me, and she was like, and this is no shade to Anna. She was like, have some fun. And that kind of struck a chord with me. Because I was like, my version of fun looks a lot different than, like, other people's version of fun. And, like, I ended up saying to her, I was like, Anna, to be completely honest, events like this really overwhelm me and make me extremely anxious. And I think she understood, like, she definitely understood that. And we ended up having a great conversation about it. But it's like, and again, that's, like, no shade at Anna. Like, I feel like I need to make that clear. The reason I'm telling you guys this is because it's just, like, I was thinking about it. And, like, I just never want you guys to feel guilty for honoring yourself but i also want you to know that like i deal with that and i i don't know i just like football football games are a lot and i think they're a lot too especially if like you don't drink and you're easily overwhelmed and i feel like there's just like a ton of drunk people there i honestly just wanted to like i just want to go see my grandma and like <laughs> relax and um i yeah, I guess I just wanted to talk to you guys about it because, like, I honestly felt like a loser leaving. And, like, I remember feeling like that in college, too. Like, if people were tailgating and I left, like, I felt like such a weenie. But it's, like, there's no need to feel that way because it's a completely normal thing to not have everything be your cup of tea. And so whether or not, like, it's a football game or a yoga class, like, if it's not your cup of tea, it's not your cup of tea. And just honor yourselves. I want you guys to feel that way. But anyways, I'm going to actually go to my dad's in sauna and read my book. I need to do my newsletter for tomorrow. I need to get groceries. Like, I feel like I have a lot to do randomly. So let's get up to it. Hi guys, we are back in Chicago. I honestly kind of knew that would happen in Iowa City and that I wouldn't end up vlogging like a ton, but honestly, I was present with my fam and that's really all that matters. But we're home, we got, so it was a long day in all honesty. We, that tastes so good. We went to, um, Naperville on our way back. We went to, I feel like I just need to like tell you guys. So we went at 11 a.m. We left Iowa City. Then we went to Naperville and stopped there for like an hour and just hung out with Blake's family because um, his brother was in town and we met his brother's girlfriend, which was really good. And then from Naperville, we went and we came back to Chicago, but then by that time it was literally like four. We unpacked everything, and I feel like every time we come back from Iowa City, we just have a ton of stuff because I load up on groceries and stuff. So we unpacked everything and then went for a walk, and we were gone. We left at like five, and we got back at like seven. Dinner's in the oven right now. It's 7:41. I just took the shower. I feel amazing, and we're this really comfy and cute tank top from Tula Rosa on Revolve. I'll show you guys. It's just like a little. I feel like simple pieces like this, simple pieces like this are just like so underrated. So I'm wearing that with a pair of cozy little um, Ever J pants, but the candle that I showed you guys, Blake actually got me two candles. I had another apology today when we were out. He got me this lingerie whipped cream and pear, which smells weirdly good. Like it's such a nostalgic smell for some reason. And then he also got me the Capri Blue Pumpkin Spice, which is, uh, or pumpkin clove, which is burning right now. And then this came in the mail. I wanted to do like a little haul. So this came in the mail. And then I also got a little top from the real reel that came while we were away. Let's see. Okay, I hate when they say that something's a sweatshirt when it's not. Like this is not a sweatshirt. 
This is also a size six. I'm confusion. And they said it was an extra small. Oh, this is definitely an extra small though. I don't understand. It's cute though. It's just a black little blouse with buttons up the back. Super cute. It's ALC. I like it a lot. Okay. And then last thing before I end the vlog. Two books that I picked up when I was home. The first one is What Happened to the Bennetts. I have been wanting to read this for a long time and I've been craving like a hardcover book. So when I saw it, I knew that I needed to get it. And then Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover because I have yet to read it. So we've got two, card, two hardcover books for the fall. Right now, I'm finishing up Summit Lake by Charlie Donnelly and it's so good. But after that, I will definitely start one of these. Um, okay. Well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I know this was like a shorter vlog, but I love you guys. And I'm gonna start vlogging really consistently this coming week. So we get back on our like three times a week, two to three times a week schedule. But I love you guys. And thank you for so much for your support. I like, I'm just so grateful. And I love each and every one of you. I love when I meet you guys. I met one of you in Iowa City this past weekend and it was like the best. Um, but yeah, I love you guys and we'll talk soon. Bye. I keep saying we'll talk soon. But like, I don't know why I'm saying that. It's like been my latest outro on my vlog. I'll say we'll talk soon. And it literally sounds like I'm talking to someone like in a meeting. Like I literally think I say that in meetings. Good tip. Okay, bye. Love ya.